back to my channel it's nice having you back today i have a video for you that i'm going to show you something on auto label you know at times when you plot a boundary a perimeter whereby you want to label the bearing and distance on the, on the, on the boundary there might not be enough space to label the bearing and distance whereby you have to create a table to do that doing it manually of the reason why I'm saying like this table was created manually which will take uh, some time before you can be able to come out with this table uh, most especially if the boundary is a, is a very uh, big boundary that has different uh, bearing and distance but with the help of civil 3d you can you can quickly get it done using auto label of table you can quickly get it done Watch me while I put you through on how to achieve that. The first thing you have to do, uh, this is the boundary I'm going to be using. You can see this boundary now. You, you can see it. I uh, The total number of uh, station of the boundary, I think, let me check. The total number of station of this boundary is uh, 135 stations. You know, when creating, if you want to do it manually, you want to put the bearing and distance on the boundary itself, there might, there might not be enough space for you to do that because you can see right here when you see this place the distance between the two is a uh, there's not enough space for you to do that but with the help of table you can achieve this with the help of auto letter of table you can do this now to do that what you simply do is that you come to auto label then on on that auto label you come to add you click on add label now you come to pass and you select multiple if you want it to display your bearing and distance if you want the boundary to display bearing and distance fine you click on multiple segments but if you want it to be on only distance you click on a uh, single segment so that you can specify if it's going to be bearing alone or distance alone but with multiple segments it's going to give you bearing and distance now then when you click on multiple segments you have to select the boundary itself now me selecting this boundary is because i've plotted the boundary with polyline before but had it been i use line to plot the boundary i have to be selecting it to select the point the change in direction one after the other but because i plot my boundary my perimeter with polyline everything has been joined together it is it has been associated so i'll just click on the polyline You can see now the bearing and distance has appeared on the boundary on the perimeter now you can see this is the distance right this is the bearing in order for you to bring in the tables that will display the bearing and distance for you you simply come to you click on this add tables and then you come to the drop down below you click on line and curve now on that line and curve when you bring your cursor to line and curve you select add line tables now it's going to bring out this page for you this is where you have to select the number of uh, bearing and distance that you need on your table so you select it by clicking on this number tag selected now starting from this origin this starting point here now I'll select the number of uh, bearing and distance that I want. You know, uh, for this for this perimeter, uh, the bearing and distance is much, but I'm not going to select all, just for practical purpose. Now let's assume uh, these are the total number of points of the bearing and distance of the boundary. So uh, what I will simply do is to press enter. Then after I press enter, I will simply click on convert all selected labels tag to tag mode. Then after I click on it, now uh, you know what this split table simply means is that uh, let's assume you have a large number of uh, bearing and distance of your job. Like, you already know the total number of the bearing and distance that you selected. You can see now I have 14 on my table. 
assuming it's more than 14 i can just come here and increase the uh, maximum row per table so that it's going to bring in everything at once then after it brings in at once you can split it after that and then this then you can split it after that then have, let's just press ok to see what we have Now you can see these are the 14 bearing and distance that I selected from the boundary. Now why you bring in my, my manual? Now this is the manual table I created at first, which take a lot of time before I was able to come out with the table. But with the help of CV3D, I've been able to quickly do the bearing and distance automatically using auto label. Now when you check uh, from my starting point, I have 236 degrees 19 minutes and the bearing is, uh, the distance is uh, 83.51 meter. When you check this place as well, because I'm starting right from the origin, this is 83.51 meters and the distance is currently on southwest. So what you simply do is that uh, you select the table and then you right click and you click on edit table style. So under edit table star, the first thing you have to do is uh, you don't want, if you don't want the table to be showing on the screen, if you don't want it to be showing this direction length, you want it to be showing bearing and distance. The, this, uh, you want it to be showing station bearing and distance instead of line length and di uh, direction. So what you simply do is that you double click on this and then you select it and then you give it the name that you want i want this direction to replace bearing and then i want to change the color to be on any color of my choice i can let it be on blue if i want it to be on blue i will click on blue color and then i can change the format to tiny romance and then i'll click ok likewise for the length i will definitely click on it i'll select it and then i'll also give it color blue Time new romance and then oh sorry i'll have to change this to distance instead of length let me change it to distance then i'll press ok and then for this line i don't want it to be displaying line i want it to display station this should be on time new romance this should be on blue and then this one should be station station then i'll click ok now that is fine when you check here now you can see now i'm ready uh, what i've done has come into effect what i've done has been corrected The next thing for me to do is uh, for the bearing and distance, what you do is that let me press OK first so that you can quickly see uh, the changes on the screen. If you don't want it to be on blue, you can also change it to white. Like this is uh, showing southwest, so uh, let's quickly uh, do that. And then the bearing, the distance also should be showing meters. What you do is uh, you select your table and then you click on edit table styles. Now, under edit table style, you come to, you know, you want to edit something under your bearing. You double click on this segment and then you select this. So, under bearing me measurement type, you change this to not azimuth. Why this is 0.01 seconds, you change it to 1 minute. Then you click. Then you click on this arrow in order for it to take effect. So you come to format, you change it to the color that we were using at, at first, which is on blue. And if you want it to be on white, it's fine. You can change it to be on uh, white. Or you come to select color and select any color of your choice from this table here. So let me just use blue. And then I'll change the front to time rumors as well then i'll click ok now for my distance i want it to be showing meters 
so i'll just double click on so i'll just double click on this segment length and then i'll come to this place and press m then i also want to change the color so i'll select everything to change the color by coming to this format here i'll change it to blue then i'll change the font to 10 millimeters as well then i'll press ok then i'll press apply and i'll click ok now you can see now my bearing is now on blue and it has been changed to what i want which is on degree degree and minutes just like the manual one i did here which is on what degree and minutes 236 degree 19 minutes 83.5 meters this one also you can see is the same thing now now let's assume uh, on that for your border now let's assume the border that you have on your perimeter it can contain this table or the the table is too big for it you have you know, and you need to adjust it it's quite easy you can break you can split this table into sections by selecting the table itself then you click on you right click and come to table properties now you know uh Ma under maximum row per table you know is showing 20 and we have the maximum bearing and distance that we select was uh, 14 so you can just decrease it below 14 maybe you want it to be showing 7 per table or 10 per table then you click ok now you can see it has break the table for you continuation is going to start it's going to continue from here so you want to just bring in the, this thing probably this might fit in into your border like that so that is how to split the table so this is how to create auto label of bearing and distance using table formats if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to turn on your notification bells for video notification once we drop our videos. Thank you.